Today is a new day and for many reasons you might have multiple computers. Let's say a PC and a laptop or a PC and a Mac mini or a MacBook and a Windows laptop or two Windows laptop for many reasons that only you would know, she would not. But imagine the chaos connecting all the essential devices that we need such as keyboard, mouse and we are cool dudes so MIDI controllers of course. How are we gonna switch between all our computers with all our rigs? Yes, you can connect everything to a medium grade USB C dock and connect every devices to a computer. But imagine what is going to happen when you take that USB C dock out of the computer one and connect it to computer two. Yes, we will solve our problem with sophistication. We will make such a workstation where plugging and switching is easy like a snap. We are going to configure four different scenarios with this KVM switcher. I'm sure you're going to find your sweet spot in it. So stay with me. This KVM switcher was sent to me by Mini Superu for a review. I gave them two conditions. Number one, only if I'm open to put my honest opinion and criticism, then yes. And also if I find this interesting to my VJ community. And yes, I'm totally sure VJs are gonna love it to have that in their workstation. Hi, my name is Zona Sabir Ahmed and let's unbox this device. Okay, the packing looks good. A box inside another box, like a box inception. We get a power dock. Then we get two 4K HDMI cables. One USB-C to C for host. This is a good one. And we have one USB-C to A and the user manual. The finish, the build is superb. Now let's check out the input output ports. On the back side from left, we have one power in, then we have host port USB-C, then a fast transfer USB-C with charging capacities. Then PC2's HDMI input 1 and 2. At the far right, we have HDMI output 1 and 2. On the side, we have a Kensington lock to keep it protected. You know, bad neighbors, gamer kid. On the front side, from right, we have two USB 2 for keyboard mouse for boring people and MIDI controllers for us. Then we have a 3.5mm headphone port then we have more high data transfer USB-C and A ports. We are going to use all of them. What are we looking for? Sweet for gamers, but what do we, VJs, want from a switch like this? Let's say we need one keyboard, a mouse, an audio interface and few MIDI controllers. I'm going to talk about the audio interface situation through this KVM switcher later but let's go with the others. Let's try out various configurations and see what's your situation here. We're going to start with our two main output devices. They are our two televisions. Let's connect them to this KVM switcher. Then let's connect our very precious keyboard and mouse. So now we're going to connect a monitor for our PC, but we're going to use that monitor directly into the PC, not through this KVM. Oh, by the way, we have this USB-C port free. We could use a 10 Gbps SSD, but we're going to use our touchscreen because this baby is touchscreen. So we're going to use a C2C cable for that. And then we're going to add this switch which will help us to switch from one computer to another one later. And now it's time we're going to connect the power. Note that in this dock, there's no power on off switch. The only switch this has is a switcher between port PC1 and PC2. We're going to use this even often. I don't think I'm going to reach out to that one to switch. Now we're going to connect this USB-C connection to our PC so that we can access all the functions including our keyboard mouse and data and midi controllers also we can use audio interface but there is a big but we are going to see that now we have our pc connected to this kvm switcher now let's go to displays we have just one display connected right now by the way the touch is working we're going to try that and swap and try with the other laptops as well 
But for now, let's go and add our LED TVs to our KVM switcher. As you may know, these TVs are already connected to the KVM switcher. All we have to do is get two high quality HDMI cables to connect to the KVM switcher from the PC. So we're going to use the cables we got from Mini Super o with this dock. Now that we have our PC ready, we are going to add MIDI controllers. Let's do it. So we are going to add two MIDI controllers in our setup. This one is a Novation Launchpad Mini MK3 Sweet Toy. And this one is its big brother. This is Native Instrument Tractor F1. Now let's recap how we are connected to this KVM switcher. First one would be this switch. Then we have our two MIDI controllers. Then we have our USB-C for touchscreen. Then we have our keyboard and mouse. Let's add a headphone with it. By the way, this is a Yamaha open back headphone. I'm going to talk more about this later. And we have our two TVs connected. Two inputs are from the GPU outputs of PCs. So we are all set with our workstation. Now let's add our second device. And yes, just one USB-C cable. So we are set up with our laptop here. All we have to do is connect this USB-C, which is connected to our host port, by the way. Now let's say we have ResoluMinder running in this laptop. Now you would know the beauty of KVM, why KVM is important over USB docks. Let's say we have some crazy v videos and let's say we have another resolume running in our PC with a different project and giving two display outputs. So if we switch from PC to laptop, our whole resolume project switches. So we could use that as backup maybe, but make sure there is a blank or a black or a blue in between switches. But the importance of KVM is even if we are not connected to this laptop anymore, like this, this is still sending its display output. It's not getting disconnected and messing everything up. KVM simply means keyboard, video and mouse. This is not a new tech. It had been there, used by network dudes in a dark server room for ages. There were a lot of computers in that stingy dark room. And against that huge number of computers, there were very less people to operate them. And this would just look stupid if you had multiple keyboard and mouse and monitor and screen for every computer in a server room. So there comes mighty KVM. With that, those nerds could connect to one set of inputs and outputs to hundreds of computers. Now times have changed. Awesome display and transfer protocols are added with KVM. That brought KVM switcher out of those dark server rooms. And now regular people and awesome people like us need them in our workstation to live nicer and classy. By the way, I'm sure you already know about Mac Mini 2024, the sweet toy with a beautiful design already. Not only the design, also the price is super awesome. So what if we just got it by emo blackmailing our wife, our girlfriend and just bought this? And how can we add this to our workstation? Let's give it a try. Let's say we are going to replace this laptop for now. Oh, I'm going to use this dock by Mini Super O. I'm going to leave a link to a video where I have explained this dock more. So this adds two terabytes hard drive into my base model Mac Mini. I save $533. To know that, check out that video after this one. So we have set up our Mac Mini here. Let's get rid of our laptop for now. Let's take off the USB-C from the laptop and connect it to the Mac Mini. So we took off the laptop and we took this USB-C from that laptop and connected to the USB-C of this Mac Mini here. Ta -da. So this is our configuration 2 where we have connected a Mac Mini with a dock but we have just connected one USB-C with this KVM switch as host. Here's the catch. If you switch, you will have one mirror display. I have talked to mini super word support and i have researched a lot there's no other way around so two displays are going to be counted as mirror display 
let's get it over with. But the best thing is Mac itself can give you three display outputs. In our next configuration, we are going to connect one HDMI output directly to this monitor and two HDMI output from USB-C. Let's do it. So let me run some software in Mac. Let's say Heavy M2. By the way, this is very distracting to see duplicate screen, but we're going to bypass that pretty soon. Let's say we have some project running in our AVM and something else is running in our PC. So Resolume running in our PC with two display outputs and all of a sudden we snap and have our AVM running in the Mac. So let's try our next connectivity where we ditch this PC and try to have a laptop with a Mac Mini. How does this whole rig looks? We have set our laptop and check out what happens if we connect just one USB-C. All our inputs and outputs and peripherals are just switched. So right now I'm in the Mac and with one button click, I'm in the laptop. There you go. So maybe in this laptop, I'm running something else. Let's say Orina. And with just one button, we switch to and my Mac Mini. Let's say we have some projects running in our Mac Mini. That is full screen. Let's say you absolutely hate Mac and you want to go with two laptops. So we have connected two laptops. Let me explain how we have connected them. This one is connected with USB-C directly as the host. This one is connected to a Ugreen USB-C dock, which has two HDMI outputs. So instead of a PC, we are using this as a PC. So let's see what happens if we switch. This one is running Resolume. This one is also running Resolume. What's missing? Throughout this process, I was trying to look for what am I missing? Okay, I'm missing a power button. This dock doesn't have a power button. So either you take off the adapter or you can turn off the whole power brick. Yes, you can leave it connected and forget it. But I love my gears. I would never leave them connected to the power, leaving unused for longer time. I just cannot do that man and I suggest you should not do that as well. Love your gears, please. As for input and output ports, I pretty much got enough ports. I wonder how much a dock with 3 display would work in our workflow. Also, you might have seen, I did not use any audio interfaces through this switch because when you switch an audio interface, this gives a static on speaker and oh man, I hate it. Also, change of audio interface is a big stress over computers. Keep that in your mind. So what do you think of this switch? Or do you know any other product that can do better than this? I want to know. Also, write down in the comments below if you found this video useful. Also, let me know what other cool gadgets you want me to review next time. Oh, by the way, if you like this video, I bet you're going to love our new channel, All About Stage Shows. There, we talk about lights, laser, projection, LEDs. Click here to know about that. And hi, my name is Zunaid Sabir Ahmed. I'm from a beautiful country called Bangladesh. And check out this video next where I tried this tiny Mac Mini with three projection mapping software all in one platter. See you there.